Hi, I'm Neve Sharkey, author of The Ravenous Beast, and now I'm going to show you how to draw The Ravenous Beast. So first we're going to start with the head. So I start up at the top and we're going to do an oval shape, curve it down, and then start at the other side of the head. You'll see he's got a nice big strong shape and then he's got a smiley shape. He's got a smiley shape for his smile, up and down. Then we're going to draw his spiky teeth. One, two, three, and little triangles down the bottom too. One, two, three. Now we're gonna draw his eyeballs. So they're oval shapes too. So one, big oval, and the second one beside it. So I love drawing and drawing characters, you try to make them really simple. Um, and then you do the oval shapes inside. So I do two small ovals, and then I fill it in, but I leave a little bit of white for the shine of the eye. You see it there, one. And that looks, it kind of makes him more alive, gives him kind of like he's a little character. Now we're gonna draw his body. So we're gonna do a curvy shape down and like a little top, kind of curvy shape for the end of his tail. And the ravenous beast is really hungry and he's got a big fat belly. So we're going to draw a big curvy shape for his belly and then a curvy shape down for that, that part. He's starting to look really hungry now. Now we're going to paint his arms. So I do a line up the top of a triangle for his thumb. Then his fingers are like curvy shapes up. One, two, three. And then we bring the arm back down again. So he looks like he's waving to us. And then another arm on this side, top of a triangle. One, two, three fingers, and back in again. Cool. Now we're going to do his feet. So a line down. He's got big, fat feet as well. So we're gonna do a long, curvy shape, a line for his leg, and then we're going to put his foot in. You can see he's got really big feet, doesn't he? <laughs> and then another foot over this side. And we can have that one kind of coming upwards so he looks like he's kind of walking as well. So what are we missing? His horns. So for his horns, I have them going in different directions. One line got curving out that side with two lines in between and the same on this side. And then his nose for when he's sniffing. And they're just two little tiny ovals on this side. And then when I'm finishing off my characters, usually I put in movement marks as well. So it looks like he's jumping onto the page. So we can add just those there. So it looks like he's jumping onto the page. And for a spiky back, it goes all the way down. We use top of triangles. One, two, three, four, five. And this is how you draw the ravenous Looks like a tasty picture. That looks like a tasty camera. Run, 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 run.